Hello chaps and welcome back to Factorio DUI World. I'm D Green and today we continue our exploration into this mod pack where in the last episode just got this beauty of a train grid up and running. Uh, in today's episode we will start to get the washing of the MPR iron ore and setting up uh, the molten uh, setup in uh, probably this grid trying to see uh, how much space we actually need so um, if you think that's cool remember to leave a like and subscribe on the video and share with all your friends as exposure is the most important thing i can get at the moment so um yeah let's get on with today's episode with me explaining what i've done in between so as you can see this is done building very very simple our science queue has completely emptied out and um, I updated our mole a small amount. Just adding the tier 2 for all of them to actually have something rather good being used. I also used a few of our belts, taking that over to um, our iron. Upgrading these to get a full throughput on iron ore, if you are not it is, since our base was lacking it quite heavily. As I was saying, Two things you want to do in this grid in this episode, and that is setting up washing, setting up uh, smelting of uh, the ores. And one thing we have to do as well is setting up, um, if you look in here, solar panels. As we got that researched last episode or in between episodes, and um, we can't make accumulators yet. But in the daytime, we can lower our pollution cloud quite a bit because look at it. It is touching biters all over the place. I had to go and clear out quite a bit to not get uh, overwhelmed. So um, we definitely want to fix that as well. So one of the first things I want to do is uh, hook up this in the mall and uh, get that started. Might as well start to... Uh, Get flowing. So that's a check here. Two, four. Let's just move it down a bit. Two, three, four. And let's start it here. In theory, we can just use this one to expand it down a bit. But I think here is fine. Yeah. And the robot's gonna place it in if we have everything we need. Might miss a few things here and there. But um, as long as we have advanced assemblers, we should be able to do it. Oh, can you be handcrafted? Seriously? Hmm. Well, that's kind of nice. But there we are. A nice, simple setup. Solar panels. Let's just start you here. That is all in storage. So now we should slowly but surely be building up a nice supply. Of course, the robots will have to travel because it's a bit of power. But um, it's not the end of the world. We could, in theory, also just to increase the speed a small amount. Let's upgrade with these. As they are way, way stronger stack inserters. And just grab, grab a few of the things you actually need so they don't have to travel too much. And let's see here. It's always good helping them out a small amount. A little robots. Let's grab you. Plates. And the rest can kind of do what it wants. So, while this is going, let's go down and uh, hook up all the other things we need. So, I'll just run down here and then I'll meet you at the building site. So, I think a good place to start is making a washing cell where we can start to wash as many things as possible if we start from the end or close to the, from then let's start with copper since that's what we have a ton of already and um, look pretty much all of these just require nitrogen that requires water methane more methane hydrogen hydrogen so we might want to keep together what has the same output not that it's that important, but let's start with the, the copper. So, we need impure copper in and nitrogen into a centrifuge. 
that's uh, somewhat easy to do. So let's start by placing down some centrifuge just to test this out. You will wash into pure um, what's called pure copper ore. That does 10 per second. That means if you do a full belt going in, we will in theory have a bit more than a full belt going in. I'll show you here. One hit. You will be Vision Cop or Impure Copper or Unloading and give it the right icon. In the start, it's always good to, to mark your things. But so we know this is where it has to go out. And from here, we want it to flow into this grid. And up top, we'll probably have one where it flows out with them. Um, if you do, you will then be your or your cup of loading because then we have uh, any surplus you want will go uh, to this one and be able to be used somewhere else. So to load and unload it, we're going to go and grab our old blueprint from earlier. Uh, it might have to rename again, but this was what we have used so far for unloading uh, items. It works wonders and it should be fine. Might have to upgrade the blueprint a small amount to actually uh, work with this mod pack. But let's, let's try and place it down and see what happens. Of course, nothing since we don't have it. So let's quickly take... I think you can change some of them. They want to express belt to let's go just to the normal ones. The means expressible. But yeah, I'll just I'll just fix this so it looks good and uh, there's no need for you to watch that, so we'll be back in a second. So the blueprint has been set up and is actually able to unload uh, the ores as needed now. One thing though, um before I make the copper one, I just want to make the iron one down here, not with the trains. Oh well. With the trains, but just at least get, at least get the production up and running. Uh, mostly because um, iron is the most needed. But uh, then again, if you just build this here, we can always just copy paste it down below. So let's see. We have 30 items per second going in. Let's just build it for copper. This takes what's it called, um, a crafting speed of one. It takes about, oh, exactly uh, one per second. That means that we in theory can do 30 uh, before uh, these are full. So, I'm just going 30 per line. That's a lot. Uh, so we might, might not do, do all of that, but let's see how many we can actually fit in. If you can make something that's completely modular. So we have more input than we have output. That is always good. So let's see, how should we line you up? That is always the question. Can we do, because I want it in here and I want it out up here. So if we do the inputs, oh, maybe from the bottom. I think that would look cool. What if you have the lanes going, let's see, needs, let's see, one, two, three, four. If one, all four going in. So let's try and start here. Then we'll want it all going up top. Uh, one, two. I like doing that just to have a bit of space. One, two, bit of space. So let's have the first one here. And you'll be the copper. We also need to have some nitrogen flowing. So we want to load us out and probably load us in as well. Now we'll just use uh, the stack ones. I heard the loaders are quite bad for, um, for that. It's funny how it keep increase, keeps increasing the hand stack size. Weird. But let's see. That is one. Two. How many can we have in a row? Two. Two, four, six, eight, 
that in. So in theory, if we do um that'll be we can do twenty. Um before it works, but that should be easy enough. We could maybe fit into the rest. Let's check the outputs. Let's say we get 50 out, we get 200, that's 2 per second. The filter... Let's place it down. How much do you produce? You produce... You produce what's called 30 per second, so you are enough for 15. You are enough for 15. And you require 2. Oh, it's sorry, 20 per second. And this produces um, 30 per second. <clears throat> and it might almost be 1 to 1, maybe 1 to 2 with the, the flow back. We do actually need quite a few of those as well. Just to have enough for it. So, nitrogen on the back, ores in the middle. Then output out. I think, I think that should work. So I'll just quickly uh, plan this out. Now you, you'll watch. I think I think it'll be good because after that we'll copy paste it to uh, the other eight kind of resources or how many there is. Let's try this. One, two, three. I shouldn't be able to flow. I mean, is that that's. That's 12. 12 can supply enough that, oh, we can actually do it in the same row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8. We could do it with overflow and pumps. Hmm. Let's see, what if we do this? We might have to go get some more pipes. But if you hook all of you up. That's 12 times. Well, it's 30, that's 3,600 per second. 30 per second times 12, oh, 360 per second. 360 per second. That means we have enough for 18. We have enough for 18 with some flow back. So we don't need quite a bit. Let's let's not let's not dwell too much. But what if we try this? I kind of want to do each row. I want to make this modular. It's so important to do. Blowback might produce a bit less than needed. Or... Yeah, I need to install the max rate calculator. Otherwise, my brain is going to melt down from doing this. <laughs> or maybe even the hell not. But if you do this... Easy is just to actually manage how much this actually need. did go for 130 per second, 20 per second, which in flow back. Let's say we get, let's say we get, this used 150 in the worst case, that means 1.5 per second. Let's do a 1 to 2 with the flow back. I think that'll be good. And that'll give us a bit of a surplus. 1 to 3, 1 to 2. Let's do one of these to 2. And then we'll have the rest being vented out in case um, we have too much. Let's just try it. So with that uh, theory, I will try and build the rest of this to consumer belts. And then you'll be right back so you don't have to watch me <laughs> mess this up. So I have built a thing. Not sure <laughs> if it works or not. But I have built a thing. So, um, what I have done is um, I've made so 
let's clear this out. I just got a better idea. But what I've made is, is a system where it only lets nitrogen in here if there's less than 100,000 in the storage tank. That is so that all the overflow can be used before adding more to the system. It's just an anti-jamming thing I wanted to implement. So I've done that. It's also modular, so I can just expand it out or more. And we have the loading of the ore up here. So what we need to do now is, um, in theory, adding some ore. But before we do that, I just want to add the trains. And for those of you that haven't seen it before, it is rather easy to do. Do it here. One, two. It fits in. It's been designed that way. And what you do, you need to have four stops. We need to have a depot and a depot. We need to have a, um, a unloading and a loading. And a loading system. We don't have any loading yet for this, but we have an unloading one we'll have to add in in the future. So for this one, for the depot, onto an inactive for five seconds is pretty much the thing. And the unloading goes to one, and then it goes to a loading one as well, if uh, if it's able. And it will stay here until cargo is empty. That also means you only request in where there's room for a whole, um, or for a, an entire amount of, uh, of copper. But uh, yeah, that is fine. So we can't really hook this one up just yet as we're missing the last one, but we should be able to hook up the pure one. Other than the unloading, but uh, yeah, we, we have we have the general idea. So what I want to try and do now is uh, is just go and grab a ton of uh, of ore, or set up a loading station somewhere. Uh, so far, if you take this off, we have a ton in storage up here. I kind of want to move into a loading station so you can see it in action. We don't have any copper, we have a small amount up here we could get in, but all in all we don't have much in terms of um, of ore that we can grab. Maybe this one down here, maybe the one up here, that may be going, let's see, up this way. Could be a good way to get to uh, here. But that is a bit further into the future. For now, let's just try, try and grab some uh, some ore and see it in action and see if it actually works. So I'll just go and grab some and then I'll see you in a second. So I went and got some ore, actually quite a lot. And uh, since these are way, way smaller than um, a normal station, I want to simulate how this actually works. Uh, so firstly, give you a bit of fuel. Let's pull you out of the station. You can just stay here for now. And then um, you will in theory be sent to the depot. Just once actually. You can go here. Then we'll go to unload and then we go to the depot again. And uh, hopefully not loop too much. Um, it won't work at the moment. It's probably just go in a, in a circle. But uh, that is fine, just as a test. We'll, we'll, we'll stop the train. But if we fill you up, you'll be a full train of ore. It can transport 20,000 at a time, so we need to have at least 20,000 room here, and we have more than enough. But it also means this one, we said to if there's less than 8,000 storage, it'll pull in 20,000. Just so we have um, something to look at. And that should also mean that when this goes, it should uh, jam this so it won't loop again. So let's see if it actually works. And ore pull in, they'll go out onto the belt, which will take it up this way and, uh, and go over here. Just doing all the way up to make sure we have enough. And in there. And everything should be golden. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So in theory, let's just, oh, not that way. Let's do it, we want the inside. So we just have you going here and 
what's these wastages? Like that. Let me go on the inside instead so we have it on both sides. Don't think it's needed, but... Well, we'll see just with this, but you know how to do it now. Let's try and give the train a, a whirl and see if it actually goes. So, um, you can go to the depot first. Luckily, the depot is working. You can see it has shut it off as it knows what is going in. That is one of the very important things of this base, is to make sure it doesn't jam. And it's pretty much jam-proof. Now it goes up here. Now we'll start to load it with, uh, with fuel. Not sure how much it can actually hold. I did add a bit here just for uh, testing purposes. Let's just help it out, filling it up for now. 1k. That means now it's completely full. Oh, can we can make it into it. And now we'll go down to unload. This is pretty much the whole premise of how this train grid work for those of you that went back and watched the entry level to megabase series. Um, you have seen this explanation quite a few times now, but I want to show you anyway. Let's see. You go in, you'll start to output. That flows down the line. Goes into this one to balance all the outputs. It goes up here. It's loaded into these. Wonder if it can make it all the way up there, or these will just grab them fast enough. We'll see. Ooh, and biases are a bit annoying. But yeah, we'll start to load. And this should slowly but surely fill up, and hopefully at some point it will let it uh, go through. If you look here now, this one is also closed, as everything. Something here is above uh, 8k, has 17 going in. So that means it's, it's full. Inside range, I assume. Yeah. And there we go. Beautiful or out. As you can see, we will have to uh, kind of fix. Oh, wait. This is 10 per second, isn't it? This is way, way too slow for this. Let's upgrade you. Let's get on both sides to build. I may or may not have overbuilt this a small amount. Let's try that. So this works. The whole system is good. It is in the depot now. Doesn't have a destination since there's no way for it to go because this does need unloading. And now we just need a loading station for this to be working. This is splitting into this one, loading evenly. Ooh, that was a test. Let's take you out. Loading this evenly for the future. And going in here as soon as we have more than not 32, let's set it to, yeah. 32, that's more than a, than a train's worth. It will open up and send in trains to pick it up. Uh, to be honest, since the stack's at, what's it called? Uh, a thousand? We should actually set this to at least 40. Because we want two full trains worth here. So maybe even 45 before this opens up. Uh, might be a bit overkill, but that's uh, just to future-proof us into megabase territory, which we'll, we'll run into at some point. Look at that. That is beautiful. And uh, did we up use all our belts? We didn't. Get the rest of you in. So we can actually see it working as fast as possible. So look at all this delicious processed ore. This will copy down below, set it up with iron as well. And then, uh, then I'll see you in a second. Do comment what you think about this. And how badly I've overscaled it or underscaled it. Hopefully. <laughs> wow, that is... That is so bad. But we'll, we'll do the math later. <laughs> and maybe better builds. So this is future proof. So I'll see you in a second after I've built the iron one. So we got done building our little iron... Uh, Impure iron ore processing. And um, as you can see, we already have water here. And um, I do want to change a few things. Right now, the water is being supplied by a long water pipe going over here. That is temporarily, or temporarily being implemented so you guys can see what's going on. 
Robots are also hard at work building down to the water here. So we can have a water loading station and get it delivered by a train instead, as that is uh, the goal, not having these uh, pipes running willy-nilly. I want it all to be contained within trains and inside the grid. So I went and picked up a ton of impure iron ore, and I just want to throw it in, see how it runs, and uh, yeah, have some we can use for what it called uh, the rest of production up here, since it is lacking quite heavily in quite a few places. So without much further ado, let's just throw it in. Let's do something like that. There we go. That is going to go into the system. Swirly, swirly back into here and uh, watch it go. Let's see. That picks it up. Perfect, perfect. Goes in, starts to produce pure iron ore. That is something we're missing. So that should give us about 35,000. Uh, at maximum, so between 25 and 35,000 uh, pure iron ore. This should be able to process and give us a nice amount out. So here they go. That will go into the train here. I won't hook up a train just yet to supply these as I want to have a loading station first. So we might want to get this one into a grid over here and then we'll go and grab some uh, ore from somewhere else one other thing i do want to set up now we'll, we'll save that for uh, for a bit late no wait let's yeah let's save it for a bit later because i want to set up our solar panels as well as uh, <laughs> the bites are getting somewhat annoyed with our pollution cloud but, uh, oh, this one is different because, no, it's fine, uh, because of the amount of pollution we're doing. So, um, I think I will end the episode here. Imagine me expanding this out, setting up some of the other ones. I will just do that in between episodes. You don't have to watch me do that times four. And, uh, yeah, then, um, then we'll watch our robots being done with this by next episode. Again, the reason why I didn't do this until now. And uh, one thing that is annoying me a bit about the DIY world is that these the space wreck, spaceship wrecks can't be picked up by robots. I have to shoot them with my machine gun, which takes quite a while. But if I want my train grid to work, it is kind of necessary. So um, I'll do some of the cleaning up in between episodes as well. So um, thank you so much for watching guys, uh, do keep liking and subscribing and do remember to share this video with all your friends on Reddit, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, it's people with Victoria on Instagram, who knows, <laughs> we'll figure out. So um, thank you so much for tuning in, I've been D-Grey and I will see you in the next episode, bye guys.